Are you ready for rounded corners in the worksheet? That's right. Right here in the worksheet, the actual cells, not an overlaid text box with some sort of crazy thing going on here. We just make the cells so they look beautiful and simple around the edges. And this will really spruce up your input forms when you make them like this in the worksheet, which I've showed you many times before how to do. And if you want to learn more about this form, there's a link in the description for this video that'll take you to the course where I show you how to make this guy and do so, so, so much more. But let's talk about the corners now. So first go to the View tab, and I want to show you that we are just here in the worksheet. That's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and rip off those rounded corners and show you how to put them back in. So this is what this guy looks like normally. You can see already it looks so much worse. And the trick to give it rounded corners, it's so easy, it's going to annoy you that you haven't been always doing this. Go to the Insert tab, Illustrations, Shapes, the rounded rectangle. And all we are going to do is draw this guy over our section of cells. Then on the Shape Format tab, go to Shape Fill and select No Fill. So it's going to make it hollow. Then go to Shape Outline and select the same color as the cells that you would like to give a rounded corner to. And then go back to Shape Outline and go to Weight, and then go to More Lines. And the format shape little guy is going to open up, and you want to go to the Paint Bucket section under Line, and then go down to Width. Now watch the rounded rectangle over here as I increase the width. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Generally, I find that between 8 and 15 is going to be big enough. So we'll leave it at 8, and then go over here to the little orange button for the rounded rectangle, click it, and drag it to the left, and just position it so that we hide those corners. Click away, and we now have rounded corners within the worksheet, but we can access everything here underneath the worksheet. So I can delete the values, I can type new values in, even though we have a rounded rectangle around it. It's that simple. And it's perfect when you go to the View tab and turn off the grid lines, and you have a little input form like this in the worksheet. And there are so many other things that you can do, of course, like lock all of the cells except for these input cells, and then you can tab through them and just make it so user-friendly. You can have it so it will input data, delete data, view data. There's so many cool things I show you how to do in the full course. Link to it in the description of this video. But that's all there is for the rounded corners. One last thing, though. Remember, it is a shape. So just like all of the other shapes and images that you put in here, if you're going to be moving cells and rows and columns around, you do want to make sure that you go down here, right-click the guy, go to Size and Properties, which is off the screen currently, and then go to Properties down here, and select Move but don't size with cells, or don't move or size with cells. So just be mindful of that. And that's all there is to it.